Hello and greetings from Blue Lagoon, Iceland. Uh, yesterday I was there with a group of tourists and I used the, the opportunity to check the new road uh, and the lava fields and the volcano itself. So now we will fly towards the road, the new road that was laid over the lava to access Blue Lagoon. It had been reopened uh, some four days ago and now all the traffic uh, to Blue Lagoon is uh, directed by this route which is bypassing the new lava from May uh, to the west. Uh, this is how it looks from the air. And we will also fly to the other side of the lava fields. You will see the spillover point where the lava spill it uh, over the wall. And where they are raising the wall, they are fixing that part of the wall which had been destroyed by the lava. So this is how I drove to Blue Lagoon last time, yesterday, by this route, forth and back. It's going over the elderly lava flow flows from earlier eruptions this year. The grayish mass to the front right is the newest lava from June, which ran over the older lavas. Is this route 10 to the uh, to the right? Is the new road to Grindavik? It's not open to tourists. It's only local residents that can drive it. It took them only a few days to build this new road across the lava. As Blue Lagoon uh, remains the most popular destination among tourists in Iceland, almost everybody who comes to Iceland visits Blue Lagoon. And uh, it was very important to have easy access to this uh, tourist attraction of Iceland. It's also important to Icelandic pension funds who are the main stockholders of Blue Lagoon company. 14 largest Icelandic pension funds hold a great stake of stocks in Blue Lagoon and they are taking care of of the facility uh, and its finances and means that the savings that I pay but my pension savings in yield pension fund went into Blue Lagoon stocks well, generally speaking perhaps some of it so if Blue Lagoon would be destroyed by the lava, it would have a big effect on Icelandic pension system, which would be a very disturbing development. This is the old uh, road, old lava road, that we, which we used it to drive prior to this flow, which went over, <coughs> over it um, now in June. They didn't uh, restore this road, they considered it uh, pointless, so they made the road further west, in just in case for the future flow, because we might see one more eruption, perhaps not, but the land is rising, so it does not guarantee that there will be an eruption, because in the north of Iceland, during the Krapla fires, uh, the eruption series ended with a land rise. Land had been rising, but there was no eruption during the last land rise. So the land rise does not necessarily mean there will be eruption, but we will see. Time will show. Now we will uh, we reach at the point of the spillover. This is precisely where the lava ran over the wall, and it's as high as the wall still. So they fix it as you see the wall and they are obviously going to raise it more and this is the spillover. Now it's very warm in Iceland, plus 15 degrees Celsius. The purple uh, greenish plant on the slopes of the mountain is Alaskan pine, which is blossoming all over Iceland now. So this is the excess the road to the left side to the wall actually and the road to Grindavik is to the front in the middle of the picture 
and it's cars are using it to access Grindavik now. Huge amounts of lava arrived in June and took over the old Blue Lagoon Road. All this greyish mass is the new flow from June, which arrived behind from behind ceiling of fat, which is to the front right. I'll go somewhat further here and I will zoom in to the volcano. Though I did a separate flight to the volcano, you'll see it different in different video. <laughs> there you see the official line. One of all the craters is still steaming. <clears throat> Now you see the crater, 2024 crater, <coughs> I'll zoom into it, this is the crater which was emitting lava last time. And then you see the view of Grindavik town and the wall north of Grindavik which runs across the highland. So the road to Grindavik is also fixed across the next lava section further to the south as you see and that's how we are accessing Grindavik for now geothermal power plant of Svartsengi to the front and behind you see Blue Lagoon Blava Loni as we call it in Icelandic so lots of works had been done here to fix the wall as you see there is still machinery there and they will be working I, I guess to raise the wall more because it's a 50-50 game if there will be eruption, one more eruption or not as l land keeps rising that, you know, back we compare the series of Reykjanes volcanic eruption series in Reykjanes to Krapla eruption series because they are the most similar which took place in the north of Iceland some decades ago and that we had also similar eruptions rather frequent and each time especially during the last eruptions it was taking longer and longer time land rise was taking longer time before the breakouts uh, occurred so I wouldn't exclude if there is an option now it will take perhaps three months before we will see an eruption I mean longer time is necessary though to uh, comparing to the previous eruption to for the magma to to be able to break out Lots of steaming, but no hot lava is visible anywhere. But lots of work needs, needs to be done to make sure that it won't overspill. The walls are massive and awful already. <laughs> uh, they are gigantic in size. They had been refilling the excavators, the gasoline tank in the evenings, because they are working here in the daytime. I was there in the evening. So, this is how the situation looks. Enjoy the rest of the video. Be well and greetings from Iceland. God bless.